pretty sure this is the key. Wow, nothing at all. Wow, that is choked. That's choked. Right, nothing at all. Where's the battery then? That battery looks shocking. So I do know that this bike was sitting two years. Uh, when it was collected, and it was collected by a, a, a clearance person. Uh, I've got the logbook for it. it. One owner. This was the only owner. So it's had one owner. But it was sitting in the garden for two years when the owner said um, the clearance guys could take it for whatever he agreed to pay. Uh, yeah. So let me smell the fuel in case it's two years old. Now this is the only key I've got, so I can't risk bending it or snapping it. I know you're not meant to use wet lube in locks, but I have no choice if I can't open the tank, we're screwed, right? If we pump it and carb clean it today, there's no reason why we shouldn't have a running bike though. No, nah, I just came back from the market. No, nah, I'm alright, mate. Sure. Yeah, see you in a bit.
That was just like three litres of fuel I bought last week when I was firing up the Lex, that other thing over there. The, uh, yeah, that thing over there. So, um, I'm going to swish it around. What I would do with this now is I would um, put an inline filter in because the tank's likely to have crap in it. We're almost using this fuel to clean out the, the tank, you see. So the next, this fuel, in a way, it wouldn't hurt for me to drain the tank again um, next week and start fresh. So, um, carb off. Let's get a carb off. Let's do a carb clean. You'd be silly not to. I've got brake cleaner I picked up last week. Um, yeah, let's give it a clean. I see no reason why this won't fire up. Also, when you do this, right, make sure um, to drain out what's in the fuel line, because otherwise you put the crap straight back in the cleaned carb. I've just noticed something weird. Look up here, look. Why is this out of the housing? I'm gonna have to pop the housing off. Something, it's either just slipped out or someone's messed with it, but it's not right and we won't be able to run it. So I'll have to do that. But I am currently taking the carb off. Remember, when I bought this bike, it was a, just a garden clearance guy, and he had it on its side. It must have been on its right side, so uh, you have to check the airbox because there could be oil have come up and sit in there. Air cleaner's brand new. It looks great. Oh, shit. Spiders. <sighs> um, but the cleaner's great, so that can go back in, and there's no oil in there, so I'm happy with that part. Um, yep, let's do it. Let's carry on. Um, I'm just stripping the bike down a bit more just because I am me and there's spider webs everywhere and it's dirty so I want to get it sprayed up everywhere. Let's see if I can set you up in a way where you might be able to see me. Yeah, look at that. Oh God. That is a bad one. So this carb is really past it, um, there's a tiny hope I can, what I'm doing is soaking the idle jet and I'll soak it overnight, there's a tiny hope that that releases enough um, of the crap for it to at least start up, but it's, it's highly unlikely, you know the carbs, the carbs had it really. Last punch in the gut, look there's fluid in the, uh, in the float, it's over, must go in the bin. In the bin. <gasps> A CG125 carb. It's clean and all. Let's do it. So this throttle grip isn't the right throttle for this bike, it doesn't fit. Um, the base fits underneath, that's fine. 
and the top doesn't fit. Uh, it's, it's junk aftermarket crap uh, that will have to go back to original to fit, literally. Um, yeah, even the one on the other bike, I might have to go over there and see if that can come across because that might, that might fit. For now though, there is a carb on this bike that there's no reason why it wouldn't do what it needs to do. So in a minute, I think we're gonna be pressing the button or kicking the kick. There was quite a spark from the battery when I connected up there. I don't know if I've burnt anything out. Um, let's see what we have or oh, don't. Something came on for a split second there. That's interesting. I did it again. Oh, not another. Not another dodgy switch. Dodgy switches, come on. Indicators are working left, right. doesn't work, fuel is on, can I get anything? Yeah I can. The choke is off. So before I carry on, I want to check the oil. make sure there's something in there so that oh that's disgusting that is the factory oil that is yeah that's the factory stuff I'm dropping that I'm dropping that now right that oil I, I've said it in the past that it comes with factory oil and it's basically water. That's the oil that came from factory. What's the mileage on this? Three thousand kilometers. Three thousand kilometers. Um, I'm gonna warm it up for two or three minutes. Um, that oil is coming out immediately. Where's the drain? Ah, uh, see it. Big old 17. Right, so I'm gonna warm it up two, three, four, five minutes. It really does need to be hot, and then I'm dropping that crap out.
concrete for five minutes and I'll drop the oil. Actually, I'm gonna go and get a drink. Guess what I'm buying? <laughs> 